All right, guys, we're going to do the tune-up on the um, SRM-225, the Echo, the curb fine, that we cleaned the carburetor out, put clean gas in, fired it up. We know it has a pretty nasty spark plug that I wire brushed. Uh, we know it has a really nasty air filter that we used. And uh, it might need a, a fuel filter, maybe, if we can get it out. Sometimes they're a real pain in the butt. Um, I gotta be honest with you, very rarely do I ever change fuel filters. Very rarely. Uh, but spark plug and air cleaner we do. And so, before we go to work, we're going to use the Echo uh, little tune-up kit. This is a uh, 90152Y. And I got this for $17 and some odd cents at Home Depot. So, it's the air cleaner, it's the fuel filter, and it's the spark plug. So the spark plug is going to be gapped. Alright. Um, as long as that gap looks fairly good like that, it's not real big and it's not, of course, touching the electrodes, uh, I leave them. I don't ever worry about what the gap is supposed to be on these little machines. As long as it looks pretty darn good like this, I'm good to go. Alright, that's the honest truth. Some people will tell you you got to gap your new spark plugs and stuff like that. Maybe. i never done it. Um, i never done it. So, but hey. If you, if you were taught to do it, then gap your spark plug, but I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So we're going to change out the spark plug, we're going to change out the air cleaner, okay, here's your new air cleaner, air filter, and you got the fuel, uh, the fuel filter right here, and you see the fuel filter has a barb on it, so the fuel line is going to come off, it might be a pain in the butt to get it off, and then you got to squeeze it back on, so we'll see if we can get it, usually you can reach in there. If you drain all your fuel out, you can turn it sideways, reach in there with needle nose and pull them out. Sometimes you need like a little hook, a little wire. Uh, so we'll just have to take that uh, piece by piece. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain out all this fuel. While I do that, take a look at this, guys. I have four push mowers over there um, that need to be repaired. They can't get them to work. They can't get them to start. So I've got to uh, see what I can do about why they're not starting and uh, see if we can't get at least one to be running today. Uh, that will be a different video though, that's not going to be a part of this video. So you got the spark plug, I think it was three quarter, I might be wrong. Deep well socket. Yep, three quarter and you just use your ratchet here, give it a quick little poppity pop pop. Before you take your spark plug out though, it's been a while, make sure either use canned air like you use for a computer or compressed air if you have an air compressor or even a paintbrush and try to reach in there and clean that crap off, okay? Don't take your spark plug out if dirt's going to fall into the hole. Be really careful about that. Also, later on in this video, we're going to get into the exhaust, but that's going to be at the end because it's not really a part of a tune-up, it's just part of a, see the gap? It's just part of a performance tip for a lot of people. So you got your gap and your gap, it's about the same. Good enough. We'll chuck that. I'm going to put the spark plug in for now. Uh, but eventually, we might take it back out to get this cover off to get the um, exhaust out of the way. Get to the exhaust uh, system, whatever. But we'll put it on for now because we might be able to work around that. New spark plug has that crush sleeve. Uh, so when you put it on tight, you're looking for like an extra quarter turn, and then that's it. That crushes it down. So the next thing that we got to worry about as far as a tune-up, again, be very careful. Looking for dirt and stuff like that that would fall in. Make sure nothing's going to fall into your carburetor. There's your air cleaner. There's your new air cleaner. Night and day difference. This would be night. This would be day. Night and day difference. So put the air cleaner in here. And it's going to be so much happier with a nice air cleaner. And then we got one more, got the fuel filter. 
I can get this. There we go. So the fuel filter is inside the fuel tank on the fuel line that feeds the carburetor right in here. And like I said, some residual fuel might come out. Nothing to worry about. But you literally have to reach in there and try to grab the fuel line and pull out the filter. If you shake it and move it a little bit, sometimes you can get close to where you can grab it and pull it out on your own. So here's the fuel filter. Here's your new fuel filter. I don't know that this one's in bad shape, but since I was able to get it this far and get it out, then we might as well just go ahead and change it. And so that's really simple to do. Pull the barb off, like I said. Put your new barb on. You got a little locking pin right there. Make sure you get that locking pin on there. So it holds it. Stick it back in. And you're done. It the, the fuel filter just fell to the end here. That's it. You just performed a basic tune-up on a two-cycle power head. Now, another thing that you can do, and, what, and that's what we're going to get into, is we're going to take the exhaust um, apart and check for this spark arrestor and see if that spark arrestor is causing any issues. Uh, so we're not going to fire it up, but that's it. We're done. We just installed the tune-up kit. We can go to work. All right, let me try to show you what we got. The exhaust, okay, your muffler's right here underneath the orange cover, and then you see this little, this little cover right here, this little case, and it's got some bolts on it. We need to get to those bolts, all right? Um, if you can get to those bolts right here without taking your cover off, that's fantastic, and you can get the screen out. We're going to go ahead and just take the cover off and get it out of our way so we can keep working and uh, see what else we might find. Got some cover, some bolts here on the cover. You got to just take off and pull the cover up out of your way. Simple, easy to do. Not a big deal. But that's why we didn't connect the spark plug back up because I'm not sure if the wire is going to be in the way or what. One, two. And then there's a little wire right here. And your spark plug. That's your cover. All right. There's little wires right here. Get those out of your way. So, there you go. Here's your muffler right here. So, if you can get to those bolts and get this off. And see what we got underneath here. See if it's all clogged up. See if there's still the screen. And if there is, get rid of it. Or some people clean it. We get rid of it. Usually, most people just get rid of it. The mechanics get rid of it. Like certified shop people, they just get rid of it. Because you don't need it. I have not done this particular model, so I'm not sure if I'm taking off bolts that I don't need to. So we're going to figure it out together. But this will definitely make a difference in your performance. If this is all clogged up, and it's, then it's you know like sticking a potato in your tailpipe. Okay, there's the screen right here. And the screen's not clogged up, really, but we're going to get rid of it anyways. <coughs> Bet that's pretty nasty. Oh yeah, look at that. It was kind of... It was up against there, and it was hindering some, so now... We got that out, there won't be any more issues like that. And now we just put it back together.
A lot of people freak out when they see us taking out the spark arresters. Um, they want to say that we're breaking the law or something like that. Lots of states do not require spark arresters. California does. Um, where I live does not. So you have to be careful, know your laws before you do something. Um, but you could just take that screen, use a wire brush and clean it off and put it right back in. But there's really no reason to. If you're in a state that you don't need to worry about those laws. Are you going to burn down a tree? I don't, I don't think so. Are you going to catch the woods on fire? I really don't think so. Never happened before to me, so... <laughs> Use your judgment, people. Alright? If, you, if you're worried about it, clean the screen with a wire brush, put it back in, do it again in a few months, you'll be alright. And that is it. I'm gonna get a little carbon choke spray, spray down the carburetor real quick, put the orange cover back on, and we're gonna fire it up. All right, spray it down a little bit. Before you guys put your cover back on, if you ever take it off, is look at these cooling fins right here on the head. This is the only way this machine can cool itself is through dissipation, the heat dissipating and air passing over this, all right? If this has dirt and mud or a lot of debris stuck in here, brush it off, use a paintbrush if you have to, clean it off, blow it out with a blow gun, with an air compressor, blow it out with uh, canned air for your computers and stuff like that, but get it out of there, all right? That's the only way your, your equipment can cool itself is if it's able to breathe. Clean it out. Real quick, real easy. All right, I'm gonna put this cover back on two bolts, put the wire back in the spot right there that's there, you can't miss it, and it will fire it up. All right, we got fresh gas, new spark plug, new air cleaner, new air uh, fuel filter, and we took out the exhaust screen. So there's nothing backing it up. Let's fire this thing up. We'll give it two pumps and a twist. There's two, a little choke, make sure it's on run. All right, now take the choke off. I guess we'll go put it to work. All right, guys, I got this one edged. I'm about to mow it, and I got to go get my kids for the weekend. So I can't do uh, this next property until later. If not later today, then tomorrow. So it'll be on a separate video. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's coming this weekend. Do you remember the original HOA Violator video series I did? Parts one through five with Sarah. And in episode four, I explained the, the situation behind her deal. Here's her home that she moved out of. And the new tenants uh, have let it go. Well, we just struck a deal and uh, they want me to maintain this property, get it in shape, and maintain it every two weeks. So we're adding this one to our arsenal of income. This is gonna be fun. Um, this is gonna be pretty rough. But we're going to get to it. The edges are the edges. And the backyard, I think the backyard is even worse than the front yard. I think the front yard has been cut once or twice and the backyard hasn't even been looked at, let alone touched. So I told her, give me uh, between today and tomorrow and we'll get this done. So we're going to go ahead and finish filming this one. I edged it already. I'll put some mowing on there, but really this is about the weed eater. So... A little bit of mowing right now, and then we'll be back with the weed eater to tighten this yard up, and then 
I will figure out the time and with going to get my kids and getting that yard situated. Maybe we'll do a little bit today, maybe a little bit tomorrow. I don't know yet. Oh boy. Three inches? The deck height! Come on! Three inches? Cross plate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and weed eat now and I'm just gonna buzz around with the weed eater as fast as possible Go get my kids and then figure out what we're gonna do with the original HOA violators yard <laughs> Oh boy.
no delay. Throttle response is awesome. That really is a kick butt little weed eater. All right guys, so coming up, uh, <laughs> coming up, in a future video, will be the original HOA violator getting a clean up. Uh, whatever you see this video, expect that video to be up in 24 to 48 hours. I'm gonna blow this off, we're done. Weed eater worked fantastic. If you're having trouble with your weed eater, regardless of the brand, Get a tune-up kit, spark plug, air cleaner, fuel filter. Little simple things like that, man. Less than 20 bucks. We're down the road. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles.